What's going on guys? Hi, welcome to this week's video or another video of Above Average Outdoors. I'm your host Skylar. In this video I go up to Lake of the Woods to do some ice fishing for some sauger and walleye. In this video I just wanted to talk about um, kind of like the jigging cadence and what worked for me while I was up there. After the first day I figured it out I went and talked to a few people, you know, just some locals and they're like, yep, that's how we catch them around here. So if you don't know, this video is going to show you how to do it. So you can see these fish have came up and checked out the lure, but they didn't come up super aggressive and hit it. So watch what happens when we put it down in the mud. Fish is still down there, banging in the mud. One, two, three, four. Just tapping it and then just jiggling as it comes up and watch this. He just comes up and smokes it. There he is. Nice. Oh, he pinned it right to the bottom. <laughs> Man, that was sweet. <laughs> I went to go bouncing in the mud and he, oh, he just came off. No. That was so cool. Talk about bouncing it in the mud like that and they, uh, he just pins it right down. I went to go pick it up and he was there. That's probably why I didn't get a good hook set and lost it, but wow, is that cool. Here we go, we're dropping it down. He's already coming up at it, come on. Here he comes, come on. All right, so he's very finicky with it. Okay, maybe he will do it. I'm gonna drop back down to the mud. Stir it up, see he's chasing it down. He might pin it. Come up out of that mud. There he is. Just like I said, I hope you, you just bang it in that mud a little bit, and then you pull it up, and they see it, and they're like, oh, must be something. And they just, they smash it. Look at that, nice sauger. It's just unreal. This is gonna be cool if he hits it. Oh, wow, I ripped it right out of his mouth, scared him. Oh, ha. He's still down there, he's still down there, come on. Bounce her in the mud a little bit. Get his attention, bring it up. Come on. There he is. <laughs> That's so cool, you just bang it around in the mud and they just come up and smash it when it comes out of the mud. This seems like it's a little bit better. Oh, no, not a little walleye. He popped right off, actually. Just a dink. Okay, sit still so I can show you to the camera. Sit still. Just the little guy. Yeah, get him back. There's more fish down there. Right here. Oh, there he is. Bring it back up. Come on. I like to do this little twitch thing like that. And pull it up at the same time. Oh! Why? All right, all right, so I missed it. We're gonna go down, bounce it in the mud. Oh, he kinda, oh, oh, he wants it down in the mud. I felt him hit it, it felt like. Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> Man, I love it. This seems like a little bigger. I'm sure it's not, but it feels it. I'm sorry to put up a pretty good fight, even though they're pretty small. Oh, he's right there! No! I got that on my other camera here. Oh man. Well, oh well. That's all right. It was just a little sauger again, but uh, we'll get back down there. See if there's anything dancing around on the bottom. No, well, all right, we're gonna stir up the mud and hope we get some more. So as you guys seen, that worked really well for sauger, walleye. Hopefully it works for you guys when you go. Um, another cool thing that happens when you're pounding the mud is this, and um, I'll show you. It was shot on my phone. I didn't haul the camera out because uh, it was lengthy and 
Not enough of me talking, just check this out. So that was actually caught on six pound test and uh, he fought it for like an hour. I met them guys sitting at Morris Point Lodge or resort or whatever and uh, went fishing with them the next day. Some pretty cool guys. So uh, yeah, um, just a few things that you can catch um, and how to catch them and uh, hopefully that works out for you guys.